2023 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport In-Depth Review Welcome guys to my YouTube channel, Latest Luxury Cars, and today we are going to review about 2023 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport. Here we go. Fortunately, deleting the third row of seats and snipping the roofline of the Volkswagen Atlas with a pair of garden shears has no effect on the luggage area of the 2023 Atlas Cross Sport. Unfortunately, such modifications do not make the Atlas Cross Sport a more enjoyable car to drive. Front-wheel drive is standard, as is a turbocharged four-cylinder engine. A V6 engine and all-wheel drive are also available as options. The Atlas Cross Sport's interior, like that of its three-row brother, is comfortable and functional, but it falls short of luxury expectations. Buyers looking for a more well-rounded mid-size SUV can consider the Kia Telluride and the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Unless a new Atlas Cross Sport SUV will only be used for local errands and the odd longer journey that does not include steep inclines with a full supply of passengers and goods. Buyers may wish to skip the turbo four-cylinder engine in favor of the more powerful V6. Actually, if you want to prevent disappointment, simply get the V6, even still. It would have been preferable if there had been a bigger difference in production when compared to the four-cylinder. As it stands, the V6 produces 276 horsepower, a mere 41 horsepower increase. The Atlas Cross Sport, like most VVW cars, has the movements to complement any extra power. The suspension is quick and responsive, but not at the expense of comfort. This large SUV is available in two variants that share a name and a style. The basic Atlas is a three-row crossover SUV with boxy, blocky design, and a spacious cabin. The Cross Sport is a little shorter and has a sloping roofline to give it a budget BMW X6 appearance, but it's still fairly capacious inside. The 2023 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport begins at $33,910, including destination. This is for the Southeast variant which comes with a 2.0-liter engine and front-wheel drive. The Southeast Toy Technology model is the most economical Atlas Cross Sport with the 3.6-liter V6 engine, starting at $39,803. This is a $1,750 premium over the same model with the 2.0-liter engine. All-wheel drive is $1,900 with either engine if it is available as an option. The SEL Premium R line is the top of the line, featuring a larger engine and standard all-wheel drive. As well as the majority of additional equipment, it has a manufacturer's suggested retail price of $51,075, and Premium Paint, which costs $395, is one of the few opportunities to spend extra on this edition. Volkswagen set out to create a little sleeker, but still chiseled SUV with the Atlas Cross Sport, and it succeeded. It makes the Honda Passport appear silly and the Chevrolet Blazer appear overstyled. It's a good compromise between the two. Is the Atlas Cross Sport enjoyable to drive? Not exactly, but it handles and grips the road better than anything else in the class. Engine transmission and performance. A 235 HP turbocharged four-cylinder is standard and a 276 HP 3.6-liter V6 is optional. Both engines are available with front or all-wheel drive. In our tests, the Atlas Cross Sport with the V6 and front-wheel drive reached 60 miles per hour in 7.5 seconds. That's 0.1 seconds slower than the all-wheel drive vehicle with the Turbo 4. But it's marginally faster than a similarly equipped three-row Atlas we tested. The SE and SE. Yumliuen technology versions come standard with front-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is an option. The transmission is an 8-speed automatic in all examples. The V6 has a maximum towing capability of 5,000 pounds. The four-cylinder engine has a towing capacity of 2,000 pounds. The four-cylinder Atlas Cross Sport has EPA fuel economy ratings of 21 Mug City. 25 mpg highway and 23 mpg combined for the front wheel drive model and 20 24 and 22 mpg for the all-wheel drive variant respectively the v6 is thirstier 
with ratings of 18 MPG City, 24 MPG Highway, and 20 MPG combined for both front drive and all-wheel drive variants. The front drive V6 Atlas Cross Sport averaged 25 MPG on our 75 MP8 highway loop, while the Turbo 4 model averaged 26 MPG. The Cross Sport is a fun-to-drive midsize SUV. The unexpectedly nimble handling and precise steering belie the huge bulk of this people mover. Our test vehicle has a V6 engine. It's snappy and appears to be rather powerful at low speeds, but it begins to tire at highway speeds. In our tests, our Cross Sport took 8.4 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, which is more than a second slower than the Honda Passport. Cross Sport braking performance, on the other hand, is smooth and confident. Interior and exterior features the 2023 Atlas Cross Sport SUV has the stylish sparseness that German automobiles are known for. However, the traditional Teutonic high-quality interior materials are absent, at least in the lowest trims. Despite the fact that the entry-level SE model includes simulated leather seating surfaces, heated front seats, and a 10-way power-adjustable driver's seat, the SE's infotainment touchscreen is likewise a dismal 6.5 inches in size. The remainder of the lineup's 8-inch touchscreen is still a little tiny, but not as bad as the Honda Passports. However, there is enough of room for everyone. If it counts, boxier competitors have greater rear headroom. However, anyone considering purchasing a new Atlas Cross Sport SUV is unlikely to prioritize this feature. The rear legroom is 40.4 inches, which is more than the Honda Passport. The back seats recline up to 40 degrees and split 60 and 40. Behind them is a 40.3 cubic foot baggage compartment. With the back seats folding, the maximum load space is a whopping 77.8 cubic feet. That should enough for the majority of purchasers' needs. The 2023 Atlas Cross Sport may indulge in a little artistic license and swoop its top down with a touch of drama because it does not have to provide capacity for seven people like its larger Atlas SUV stablemate. Without the instantly identifiable VW emblems, this midsize SUV could be mistaken for an Audi. It also sits lower on its suspension than the Atlas, accentuating a sporty feel. LED external lighting is standard on all models. The SELR Line Black has a variety of external features, finished in you guessed it black. The top tier SEL Premium R Line also boasts the biggest alloy wheel size in the lineup, 21 inches. Those who have driven the three-row VW Atlas will recognize the cabin of the Crossport. Despite an upgraded steering wheel and embroidered door panels, adults will find comfortable sitting in any row of the SUV. Although unlike the ordinary Atlas, the Cross Sport only has a bench in the second row. The Cross Sport accommodated 30 carry-on luggage, with the rear seats folding in 14 with the rear seats in use during our testing. These figures outperform the Ford Edge, 29 cases with seats down and 12 cases with seats up, and the Hyundai Santa Fe, 27 cases with seats down and 12 with seats up. All Atlas Cross Sports come equipped with a touchscreen infotainment display that supports both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as a changeable digital gauge display. Navigation and Sirius XM satellite radio are options. The CarNet networking software from Volkswagen enables for remote starting and analytics. Furthermore, a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot allows passengers to stay connected to the internet while on the move. Safety Features all Atlas Cross Sports come standard with automatic emergency braking and blind spot monitoring. But if you want more sophisticated driver assistance technologies, you will have to upgrade to a higher trim level. Visit the websites of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety for further information on the Atlas crash test results. The following are important safety features. Automatic emergency braking with forward collision warning is standard. Blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic warning is standard. Adaptive cruise control with semi autonomous driving mode is available. Thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Make sure you press the bell icon 
and subscribe our channel latest luxury cars. Stay tuned for more reviews like this.